Hey guys, this is a channel of random Minecraft stuff for more. Sorry I haven't done any Minecraft videos in like a few months. Uh, yeah, but, but for an 150, for a belated 150 subscriber special, I'm going to be making an update tour of my Minecraft mansion, as you can see. It looks different than before, and uh, yeah, let's get let's just get right into it. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. First off, in my driveway, here is my um. Uh, red uh Chevrolet Impala um uh, '90s model with the the '90s um uh, double S model, and uh yeah um in the front porch right here is a Casablanca we got the we got Casablanca Atria um yeah sixty it's sixty eight inches um oops yeah looks uh, like a very stylish ceiling fan yeah and we also got the table very lovely front porch I actually do like it alright in the entry the foyer, um, not a lot of stuff in it, not too furnished, but, however, uh, here's a Hershey, um, a Tuberu Bell, a Triple Chime Grandfather Clock, a Mr. Wayington, a Canter Canterbury, um, yeah, and right here is a Candelier, you may have seen this. In my previous tour of a mansion. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, yeah. It's a nice ceiling fan. It looks a lot like a chandelier. I actually do like it for this room. Oh, yeah. And then this room right here is a Casablanca uh, Veneto. As far as I know, there are no Venetos on, on YouTube. So, yeah. Oh. And in this piano room, uh, we got a Casablanca uh, Marrakesh. Yeah, I actually do like the ceiling fan. Oh yeah, there are most most of the ceiling fans in this house are are uh, Casablancas because Casablanca is my favorite ceiling fan brand of all time. Yeah. And I like to have Casablanca's already. Hell yeah, here's my grand piano. You know, I need to make this like a recreation room or something, but I don't know yet. But yeah. Suits the space here with the 64 inch blade span on the Marrakesh fills up the room perfectly. And yeah. Alright, going into my living room here. Got all my couches, coffee table, um, there's eventually going to be a mantle clock right here, although not, I'm not completely done with that yet. Right here we have a Casablanca 19th century, ceiling fan wise, um, yeah, it's, it's my dream ceiling fan, that's why I have it in here. And it, and it also looks great, it's, it's in the burnt brass finish, in the... And then Marrakesh is an antique pewter. Oh, both of these ceiling fans and the finishes that they how uh, how they look in here. Oh, yeah. And we have a half bathroom. No ceiling fan in here, but it's got an, it's got an Air King exhaust fan. Actually, no wait, is it Air King? I don't know. It's not even a real exhaust fan, but yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, here in this long haul, we got a Fanimation Americana in matte black. Looks good here. Really like it. Oh yeah, we have another grandfather clock. It's a Ridgeway uh, single Westminster chime. 
Oh yeah. TV room here. I got furniture. Yeah. It's not completely furnished. Um, this house isn't completely furnished, actually. Oh yeah, and we got trackline, cast Blanco Spear of Saturn, black and brass, or actually, wait, black, chrome, and bright brass. Or, or is it gum and bright brass? I don't know. One of the three. Oh yeah. In the kitchen, we got a Hunter Original in Antique Brass. Yeah, goes really well with these cabinets. Really like it. Um, I actually don't really know what kind of originals I want, but I plan on having on only multiple Hunter Originals. You know, like nine to twelve of them. Oh yeah, we got a uh, dining room here. Um, you know, mantle clock on the mantle. But yeah, here's a dining table, and a belt, and a Casablanca Bel Beller Halo in this room, and burnt bronze. Um, burnt bronze is, uh, to my knowledge, is, un is, is uncommon for the, for the Bellers and Beller Halo, but however, it's, those are pretty common models. Haven't, I have found one. Um, on Craigslist, a Beller on Craigslist in, in brushed nickel. However, I do not want to get that. I do not want to get that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pantry. No. Same thing here. However, don't have food stored here yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do some work. Um. Yeah. But we got this flush mount fixture up here. Obviously. Pantry doesn't even have a door, which is weird. Oh, yeah, and the den, obviously it's unfurnished. We got Casablanca Aging Classic in vintage pewter. Yes, I said I said Aging Classic in vintage pewter. Looks good here, and I really like it. Um. Well, Bellars and Bellar Halos are, in my opinion, are ornate, but they, they also have a, they actually have a mix of ornate and contemporary, which is called transitional style. But yeah, I actually do like how these fans, uh, how these fans look good in here. Oh yeah. Oh, in the parlor we have a Fasco parlor fan, ornate version, antique brass. 52 inch blade span of oh, the Agent Classic is also a 52 inch blade span. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks looks good in this parlor. It is antique brass, obviously. So yeah, it looks looks very good here. I actually do like it. Okay, in the office here. We have a Casablanca Victorian Limited. Oh yeah, and we got a we got a, um we obviously got um an iMac right here. Or actually, it could be a Macintosh. Yeah, some some kind of computer and the keyboard and the mouse. Yeah, I really like this office. In the bar, we have a 1930s Hunter Original in uh, green. Yeah, looks good in here. And also, oh, screen screen porch out 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 there. We got a Casablanca Continental. Uh, yeah, I'm way on black. I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I pronounce it way on black. Oh, yeah. And we have a Chrome Panama 5 in the game room. Oh, yeah. Um, and the pool table and the TV. And yeah, oh, yeah. There's also some furniture in the parlor. Yeah. Like I said, my home is not 
this this place is not completely furnished. And I need to get more time in for that. I'm also gonna put some consoles in this room as well. Yeah, maybe. I don't know about my TV room. Most likely consoles of the game. Oh yeah, and in the library is a Casablanca Barolo in Tuscan Sunset. And we got bookcases and a, yeah, this is the green area of the library. Although I prefer a table with um, armchairs down here. That would be great. No clock on the mantle though. We'll have to find one. Oh yeah. There's a TV room again. Uh, long haul again, obviously. Okay. This is the area that goes in the basement, and yeah, it's not furnished, but for a ceiling fan, this is a Casablanca Cambridge ceiling fan, the Bright Breath Gallery Edition model um, with a towel touch. Yeah, the 19th century is also in towel touch, so is the Spear of Saturn, and uh, yeah, the malls that come in the towel touch are, are most of the malls that are here come in the towel touch that way. Obviously, you're not going to tour the basement. Just yet, but I'll get to that scene right down here. The Casablanca Century 9000. Wait, could it be Century 9000? Actually, it's a it's a Columbia 500. Sorry, just because I didn't want a 19th century antique brass or bright brass. Yeah. Okay, I'll go outside. Yeah, most of the basement isn't furnished yet, fortunately. But, yeah. We've got a table out on the screen porch and a Casablanca Continental. Oh, yeah. And then my back porch. I'm obviously going to put a grill here sometimes, even like a barbecue grill. Anyways, this is a Casablanca Twain. Oh, yeah. Both of these fans use XTR 200 motors. Which are good. Which are one of those good motors. Yeah. And, yeah, same same goes with the Atria. Um, I don't know what to do with this room. I could have a barbecue grill and a, maybe a campfire underneath the ceiling fan. But I don't know how safe it is yet for a campfire underneath a ceiling fan. You know, that's, that's in a porch or something. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a hot tub right here. Oh. And this is going to be a garden soon. So that needs to be done. Alright, in this, in this gazebo right here, we have a Casablanca Estrada in Navajo White. Direct drive motor, a uh, three-speed pole chain. Oh, these, are, these two fans right here, the Twain and the Continental, they're on four-speed wall controls. So, yeah. You know, maybe I can make this a courtyard or something. I don't know. Comment down below and, and see what you think, guys. Oh, yeah, above the pool right here is a Casablanca Lanai and Matt Black. Also, direct drive motor and three speed pull chain, but the, and with leather pine blades. Oh, the, the blades on the Estrada are classic white. Yeah, I'm thinking about building a pool deck right here and then taking this out. So, Cause I don't know how it looks how good it will look from the uh, from the view of a pool. I mean, it, it will look fine, but I just wouldn't want to install above a pool because it might be difficult to uh, get get a ladder or something. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Oh yeah. There's the window view. Oh, yeah, there, there, here's a shed. I also made the shed bigger. Wish I could have a pool house here, but I don't know about this one. Um, if I could have a pool house, it, it would be facing this way. Uh, you know, the front. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, the side, it's all empty. I put the sea lanterns here for light. Oh, 
can see the thing I installed right here is um is a red Casablanca star. Versa touch. Yeah, the Agent Classic is Versa touch, and the Marrakesh is a Versa touch uh, two. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to show you the garage. I installed a couple of um. I installed a couple of these um. Dayton Industrials. They're not day turds, however, but they're still Dayton's. It's not like those ones at Toys R Us that have those motor burnouts. Like, I really hate when a ceiling fan motor burns out, and, you know, it drives some people nuts. You know, like me. If that were to happen to me, that would drive me nuts. But, yeah, back, back to this place. Oh, yeah. Garage is also empty. Okay, um... Okay, going into the shed. Yeah, this is obviously a two-story shed. Equal amount of square footage on either of these. Uh, yeah, from what I can tell. I don't know what to do with this, but what if I convert this thing into a pool house instead of a shed? That that would be cool. Now I can in install oddball colored Casablanca ceiling fans. Oh, I got 10% battery remaining. I need a... I need um, yeah, I haven't worked on any of this today, by the way. If you're wondering. Oh, yeah. I'm not playing Roblox. I'm playing... I'm not playing Roblox. I try to hold down shift, you know, uh, to go to slow. Yeah. It's weird, but 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 it's, but it's totally true. At least I installed something in the shed. Trying to, you know, to help keep air circulating, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the second floor. This is obviously going to be a very long video. So, yeah. I'm trying to bore you guys, but this is definitely going to be a long video. Oh yeah, Aging Classic again. Lear again. Like I said, there's a, in this room, there's a Casablanca Veneto. Boy on black, direct touch. Oh, the candelier is also direct touch. It's obviously a candelier two. If the candelier was direct touch, if it was candelier one, it would be four speed and tell touch. But yeah. I right, on the gallery right here. We have a Casablanca New Orleans, antique brass, um three speed pulp chain. Oh yeah, up in that third floor loft is a Casablanca Victorian. It's Intel Touch. I installed both of these right here with the same look and the same colored blades. They're stencil, even though they're not really stencil. And the same type of glassware and all that such. And 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 it's such a such a cool install. Oh, well, in this room is a Vasco World's Fair, white and antique brass. I have this hall right here. Master bedroom, we have a Casablanca Nouvelle, antique silver, um, Teletouch, yeah. Oh, the World's Fair is a three speed converge from very low. Um, this room right here, it's going to be a martial arts room. There's nothing here, but we have a Casablanca. Uh, could they in Mandarin Red with uh, reversible Mandarin Red and Mac Black Blades. I have a Mac Black Blades facing down, by the way. In the Mac Black part, yeah. Looks good here. I really like this. Oh, let me go into the master bathroom. Is a Capistrano. Oh, yeah. Here's all this bathroom stuff, but, but for a ceiling fan, is a Capistrano in a Florentine Verde. 
with uh, bleached out blades. Looks good here. I actually saw um, a Florentine Verde Capistrano on eBay, which is asking for $650, which is like a very ridiculous price. Well, yeah. Empty closet. We have nothing in here. But I want to install um, like a Whalia. Actually, I want to save the Whalia for somewhere that's damp rated. Maybe I could put maybe I could put another lanai in here. But yeah. We'll see how things go. Okay, in this bedroom is a Casablanca Victorian 2 in uh vintage silver, which is a which was only sold in the year 2001, so yeah, this is a really rare fan. I think it's, I'm thinking it's the rarest in all the house. Um, Nouvelle's in general pretty common, uh, not actually extremely, extremely rare. They're actually, uh, that rare in Hawaii because, um, Mr. Haas Power 7, Castle, the Casablanca Fan Fanatic told me that they're only five of them sold in Hawaii. That's that's like that's crazy, but it's true. But yeah. They could be rare where I live as well. But yeah. I know that the easiest ornate ceiling ornate Casablanca to find is a is a Victorian. And and uh, slumber quiet or until touch just most likely slumber quiet where I live, which is in Texas. Um, yeah, in here, um, yeah, in this room right here, we have this is a new tone century. It's select touch. Um, yeah, it's an, it's an ornate new tone, obviously. Yeah, we've got a walk in closet. Which is good. Yeah, this is an empty bedroom. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. But yeah, cool bedroom overall. I'm also not sure what to do with this bedroom. I do, however, have a guest bedroom. This mansion is literally 16 bedrooms. So yeah, there's there's a there's a lot you guys see you guys would see. In in this hall right here, we have a Brown antique brass, Basco, Old South, USB pulp chain, electrically reversible. Oh, and yeah, um, it's obviously not a furnished hall. None of the halls in this house are furnished, so yeah. Guest bedroom, got a bed, and yeah, and everything. Got Hunter Ornate Original, uh, white antique brass, two speed, non reversible. It's got this five light kit. I actually generally do like these five light kits on on ornate ceiling fans. I just I just think I found them cool. Um, this room, which is gonna be an art room, where I do my art. Whoops. Sorry. I, sorry. I flipped my iPod Touch up high. That was weird. But yeah, I plan to get a screen recorder for for my MacBook Air when I can. We got a Casablanca Mission in the art room. This is an empty art room. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, in the bath in this bathroom here, we got a raw iron 42 inch Hunter original, three speed pull chain, electrically reversible. The raw iron finish in general is pretty rare, but the original is a very common mod. And you see you see originals everywhere if you if you live in Texas like I do. Um Okay, um which bedroom to see? Oh I'm thinking this one first. It's got a Newtone Veranda 2, Antique Brass with Select Touch and the Five Light -like Kit. Oh yeah. The Newtone San Sentry also has a five light -like kit. Yeah. 
looks very good in this bedroom, and I like it. Whoops, I accidentally broke that. Let me put that back. Oh, this bedroom is all empty, but for ceiling fan, it's a Fasco Florentine. White and brass, white and polished brass. Uh, three speed electrically reversible. Because it's sunset. And yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I've already tore this air. Let's go to the third floor. Like I said, here's a Victorian Gallery Edition. Antique Brass. Teltouch. Alright. This one right here is, um... Is an Emerson Kesbolk classic, ornate version, by an antique brass. Three-speed electrically reversible. Most of the three-speed fans. Um, yeah, hard to say about what ceiling fans are right here. I don't know what, obviously in this bathroom is a... Oh, this is a white and chrome Utopian. It's three speed pull chain with a electric electrically reversible with a reverse pull chain. Yeah. Judging by the chrome sideband. This is actually white and chrome utopian. And it looks good here. Oh yeah, and this this bedroom we have in um, Emerson Zerk. Yeah, I installed some Emerson in here, because I like, I not only like Casablanca, but I like other ceiling fan brands, too. It's bedroom. I'm thinking about putting, no, there's nothing in here, but i got these lost concerts in the mantle. I'm thinking about putting in a Casablanca Le Fleur. La Fleur. I, I don't know how to say it. Actually, I do. La Fleur. I think that means the flower in French. I know. I know some French and Spanish, so yeah. Another walk-in closet. Okay. Um. What else to see? Oh, this is actually supposed to be a Sierra ceiling fan. An ornate. Probably a copy of the... Casablanca Victorian. Oh, and we got a dark bronze Casablanca Bel Air, which is the rarest version of the of the Bel Air. Rarest finish for the Bel Air. Yeah, it's really rare, and um, no ceiling fan collector has found one yet, unfortunately. But yeah, it's it's comfort touch, and it has antique oak blades. And I believe this could maybe be a Sierra. I'll have to check. Um, yeah, it's a Sierra Micro Touch ornate ceiling fan. Casablanca Victorian copy. Okay, and more to see. No. Guess I'll go to this hall right here. And this bedroom is a is a Casablanca artisan, just like the one in my living room. It's gonna temporarily be in here until I can uh, find something different. I I'm I don't really know. Don't I want a craftsman craftsman looking bedroom in here? Maybe. But yeah, I like this Mika light kit on it in a gloss chair with blades like the one that I have in person. Oh yeah, and then this bedroom is a design house uh, South Port. Yeah. Design House Southport in polished brass, three speed electrically reversible pull chain. Uh, yeah. I actually do have reliable steel hands, but. Yeah, Homestead Homestar is unreliable. 
If you don't want one, then don't buy one. Unless, unless, well, if you don't like Homestar and you have a Homestar seal, then go ahead and convert to three speed. It's convert. It's convertible to three speed. You know. Yeah. Anyways. Oh yeah. I got a rustic iron uh, Walia in this bathroom. It's not completely done yet, but I'll eventually get to that when I have time. Yeah. Nice fan, and I like it. Oh, this bedroom is a Emerson Cornerstone in weathered bronze. CF Mall CF1WB. I know uh, that um, Andrew Gold has one of these, and this finish obviously doesn't have a like it though. But yeah, I like this like kit. Looks good. I actually like the four blade configuration better than two blade configuration. I got the channel for MC and fans saw at a hotel. Has a two blade config two uh, two bladed uh cornerstones with twenty degree pitch. You can also install four blade ones. I also like the four blade configuration because it uh for the cornerstone because it moves more air. But the ceiling fan in this bedroom is a Casablanca Porto Fino. From the Cosmopolitan Collection. Oh yeah, the Cosmopolitan Collection also has the La Flor. La Flor. I'm gonna show you in my 2006 Casablanca brochure of what the Portofino looks like. Yeah, this is a Portofino, and it's ornate. Look at it. It looks so cool. Um, yeah, and the LaFleur is... LaFleur, excuse me, um, is right here. 2006 brochure. I do not have the only cash block of pounds I have. Is a 2000 caliber, 2007 caliber, and a 2010 caliber. I have cash block of brochures from 2000, from years between 2000 to 2008. Alright, you've seen the third floor? Now let's go ahead and do the basement. And obviously, this video is getting even longer, so I actually do feel sorry about that. But yeah, let's let's head on down to the basement and uh, see what we have. Cambridge again. Huh? This is the Columbia 500 right here. Okay, and this unfinished room, which is obviously going to be a storage room, We've got some port lanterns, which I would use as porcelain sockets. And, uh, Casablanca Expressions, seam fan wise. As far as I know, this is a short lived mall from 1998 to 1999. I don't know how rare it is, but yeah, it's a short lived mall, so it could be, uh, very rare or really rare. Oops, I accidentally broke down that door. Um, yeah, um, Okay, what see what this? Oh, twentieth century. Antique brass three speed reversible pull chain. Um three speed reversible, yeah. In this room we have oh yeah. Twentieth century is antique brass. Um Commodore and Vanderbilt that's in here is antique copper with uh walnut blades. Yeah. I actually do want a copper Commodore Vanderbilt. This one's also a uh, Three speed is electrically reversible. Yeah. Okay, my basement hall, we have nothing down here. Temporarily putting the Casablanca Ford hand down here, but I don't know what to install. In the basement kitchen is a Newtone Slimline. I installed it here because of childhood install at the gift shop at, at Lagoon. You know, yeah, that's an amusement park in Utah. I've I've been there before. Yeah, Casablanca Bella down here in H Gold in this room. It's first a touch, and it has walnut blades. Oh, the slimline is antique brass and has walnut blades. This one is a Casablanca Alessandria. I'm thinking I might put something else in here. 
yeah, most, like I said, most of his base is empty, so yeah. Anyways, this is a Homestead Whisper Fan 1 that's in, that's in this room. And going into, going into this bathroom, we have um, an ornate exhaust fan right here with a light. Yeah, this is what the basement bathroom looks like. In the laundry room is a Home Trends Rainbow Hugger. And yeah, like everything in this laundry room, like what you see, laundry basket, um, cupboards, washer, dryer. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a double furnace and a double bar here, obviously. Because of how big this mansion is. Alright. Going into, uh, this... This room, it's empty. I need to put a mantle here, but for a ceiling fan, uh, it's a Homestead uh, Covent tree. It's one of those Homestar series uh, ceiling fans. This was Homestar, but I decided to convert to three speed because I want real reli re reliability. And in this, and in this room. I have nothing but a, nothing in here, but a Cat's Block of Vermont. And, uh, I don't know which is more rare, the Alessand Alessandra or the Vermont. I need to ask somebody. However, there's a neon seal pen. Um, th this is a design house a neon with a chrome spotlight kit. Extra neon light bulbs and neon track line. Actually, the track line isn't neon, but it's chrome. Yeah, this is obviously a home theater room. I put it here because I like it. Um, anything else to see? Um, probably not. Um, is it? Is there anything else to see? that you want to see. Alright. Let's have a look around. I can't, I can't really remember what's going on. But, on top of these, but, yeah. There's an attic. Oh yeah, and this big air conditioning system right here, and we got these crosses. Because you know how stylish this house was. This house was built in 1886. So, yeah. Because if this house was in person, it would be rare. But I'm obviously going to store boxes and stuff in the attic. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I guess you, I guess this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, my belated 150 subscriber special. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. The channel of random Minecraft stuff and more, out.